Welcome to the Chant School Podcast, where we learn to sing the ancient chants of the Catholic Church. The Chant School Podcast is a production of Floriani, a men's vocal ensemble dedicated to serving the church and saving the culture through the beauty of sacred music. I'm Thomas. I'm Giorgio. We are members of Floriani and your hosts for the Chant School Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to the Chant School Podcast in this new liturgical year and one of our favorite musical liturgical seasons, Advent. We hope you guys are having a so far blessed uh, season of Advent. Holiday season, George. Holiday season. Happy holidays to everybody. <laughs> Come on. Um, we love this season, and, and it's not just because we're already brushing up on our favorite Christmas carols and chants. Um, Advent has uh, beautiful music as well, especially chant. Uh, it's full of yearning for the incarnation and also celebrating and rejoicing in that in the yes of our Blessed Mother. A lot of the music is, I, I personally think, is a little more haunting. For, like for Vinny Vinny Emmanuel, you have the Angel Gabriel. Lots of different hymns, uh, Advent hymns, can give a maybe... Um, a different type of beauty, let's say that. Yeah, I, I call it yearning, you call it haunting. Yearning, I right. think that you're probably thinking back, you're still thinking about All Souls Day. <laughs> but uh, So when the calendar turns from ordinary time to Advent, as the new year comes in, the Marian Antiphon that's uh, sung at night prayer changes from the Salve Regina, which we've learned in a previous episode, to today's hymn, the Alma Redemptoris Mater. And this it's the hymn at the end of night prayer now. It used to be sung as a more traditional antiphon. where It would be sung as an antiphon, and then a psalm would be sung after it to a simple tone, and you'd repeat the antiphon. Now it's uh, it's a standalone piece. It's simple, it's beautiful, and we'd encourage you to learn it and, and make it part of your daily Advent prayer, and then during Christmas as well. It really enriches and gives a sense of the season. It's a great way to have a sense of the of the changing liturgical seasons to sing the appropriate Marian antiphon for each liturgical season. George, anything else you want to share about this hymn? Uh, just one little anecdote. It doesn't have exactly to do with the hymn, but I remember um, a few years ago I was in uh, the, the Basilica of Mary Major in Rome, and we sang the solemn tone for this hymn, and it just it just fit the place so perfectly. Because the acoustic is like a, it's like a five second reverb, so you just hear that reverb across the mm-hmm. the chapel. I think we have recording of it. Maybe we'll include it at the end of this episode. Excellent. Um, anyhow, yeah, it's uh, just such a great hymn. Yeah, we'll see if we can find that and either either put it in the episode or we'll put it in the show notes. Um, yeah, as always, please check out the description of today's episode for a link to the music for this chant, so you can follow along as we learn it. Uh, and as Giorgio mentioned. As with the other Marian antiphons, there is a simple tone, the simple version of the of this antiphon, as well as a solemn tone. Today we'll be learning the simple tone, but we're also going to release a sort of bonus episode uh, where we teach you a more advanced chant, the solemn tone, Alma Redem Toris Mater. So if you're feeling, it's not too hard. Not not for the faint of heart, though. It's not, but it's not for the faint of heart. So uh, if you're feeling a little adventurous and want to check it out and see if you've upped your chant game yet. Uh, we'd encourage you to go to go check that out as well. Why and why do we read the lyric? Why do we include the translation before we before we learn this? I think it's important to have have the prayer in your mind as you learn it. We're we're praying. We're learning the melody. We're learning how to pronounce the Latin. But we hope that that even the practice of chant is is a prayer. Great. Kind Mother of the Redeemer, who remain the open gate of heaven and star of the sea. Help your falling people who want to rise, you who bore your holy creator while nature marveled, a virgin before and after, receiving that ave from Gabriel's mouth. Have mercy on us, sinners. Great. Let's sing it. Alma, redemptoris mater, Que per via celi porta manes, et stella maris, succure cadenti, surgere qui curat populo, tuque genuisti, 
natura mirante, tuum sanctum genitorem, virgo prius ac posterius, Gabrieli sabore, sumens iludave, peccatorum miserere. Great. Simple, beautiful. We have a few melismas in this chant. And you'll uh, notice that this is, as we as we saw in the Salve Regina, as we saw in the Ave Maria Antiphon, this is not like a hymn in that there are no repeating sections of melody. It's one melody from start to finish, which makes it more challenging to learn. Right. Um, and forgive what I said earlier. It's not, uh, there's not a few melismas. There's only one melisma. It's not the beginning, but a very beautiful. What's a melisma? Um, a melisma. <laughs> Good point. Uh, a melisma is a, um, it's multiple different notes on a single syllable. And I think more than two would uh, make it a melisma. So you have actually five notes on the beginning word, alma. 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 It's kind of a cool little phrase. It's like a trumpet. Like, here's Advent. Uh. Yes, <laughs> I love All it. All right, let's go through it. <clears throat> let's just go through the Latin pronunciation. Alma redemptoris mater. Alma redemptoris mater. Que pervia celi. Que pervia celi. Porta manes. Porta manes. Et stella maris. Et stella maris. Sucure cadenti. Sucure cadenti. Surgere qui curat. Surgere qui curat. Populo. Populo. Tu que genuisti. Tu que genuisti. Natura. Natura, natura mirante, natura mirante, tuum sanctum, tuum sanctum, genitorem, genitorem, virgo prius, virgo prius, ac posterius, ac posterius, Gabrielis ab ore, Gabrielis ab ore, sumens ilud ave, sumens ilud ave. Peccatorum miserere. Peccatorum miserere. Great. Some tricky words in there that you might want to look out for are pervia celi. Pervia celi. Yeah, and as I mentioned in every single podcast, be careful with your R's. So pervia. Pervia. Right. And then uh, sucure cadenti. Sucure cadenti. And then genuisti. Genuisti. And I actually think, think uh, surgere. Surgere, right. Surgere. And on um, Virgo Prius. Virgo Prius. And ac posterius. Ac posterius. Ab ore. Ab ore. Sumens ilud. Sumens ilud. And then the last word might be tricky. Miserere. Miserere. Awesome. Well, I hope that's not too difficult for you, and we'll move on with the words and melody. Alma. Alma. Redemptoris Mater. Redemptoris Mater. Alma. Redemptoris Mater, quer per via celi, quer per via celi, porta manes, porta manes, quer per via celi, porta manes. Que per via celi porta manes, et stella maris, et stella maris. Okay, so let's take that whole first line and we'll do it very slowly. Ah, 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 ah. 
Alma, Redemptoris Mater, que per via celi porta manas, et stella maris, succure, succure, succure cadenti, Socorre cadendi, surgere, surgere, surgere qui curat, surgere qui curat, surgere qui curat populo, surgere qui curat. Populo. Et stella maris, succure cadenti, surgere qui curat populo. Tu que genuisti, tu que genuisti, Natura mirante, natura mirante. We'll do that whole phrase. Tu que genuisti, natura mirante. Tu um sanctum, tu um sanctum. Tuum sanctum geni, tuum sanctum geni, geni to, geni to, geni to rem, geni to rem, tuum sanctum geni to. Sanctum genitorem. And then we'll go from tu que genuisti. Tu que genuisti natura mirante. Tuum sanctum genitorem. Virgo prius. Virgo prius. Ac posterius, ac posterius, Virgo prius, ac posterius, Gabrielis, Gabrielis, Gabrielis abore, Gabrieli sabore, sumen zilud, sumen zilud, sumen zilud ave, sumen zilud ave, Gabrieli sabore, sumen zilud ave, Peccatorum, 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 miserere, miserere. From peccatorum? Peccatorum, miserere. Let's go from Virgo Prius all the way to the end. Virgo Prius ac posterius Gabrieli sabore sumen zilud ave peccatorum miserere. And now I'll sing the antiphon from the beginning in a nice slow fashion. Alma, redem 
I know that these these Marian antiphons are some of those beautiful chants we have in in the repertoire of chant. So I would definitely learn these, especially for the seasons, and um, really enjoy them. They're quite beautiful. Yeah, we hope this blesses your Advent and that it becomes part of uh, your your living the liturgical seasons the way it has been for us. So. All right. And don't forget, if you are in the mood and a more advanced and not faint of heart mood, try our solemn tone, All Motor Dem Tordis, and uh, you'll, you'll be a real champ if you can do that. And let us know what you think. Leave us a review. Uh, share this with a friend and uh, help. You know, we, we, we hope that this is, is blessing you and we hope that you can pass that blessing along to uh, the blessing of chant along to someone that you know. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you next time on the Chant School Podcast. God bless. God bless. Thanks for joining us on the Chant School Podcast. For more information, check out our show notes for PDFs or links to the chants that we've sung today and any other resources that are relevant. And uh, head over to our website, floriani.org, for more information. If you guys are Instagram users, you can also look us up at Floriani Sacred Music and listen to some of our tunes that we post on there. Thanks very much. God bless. See you later.